The identity of patient zero remains a mystery. Patient zero is the colloquial term for the index or primary case, the first instance of a new virus being passed to a human body from an animal. According to an article in the medical journal The Lancet, contributed by, among others, Huang Chaolin, vice president of Jin Yin Tan Hospital in Wuhan, the first case of COVID-19 in the city was recorded on December the 1st, 2019. Taking into account the incubation period, the patient may have been infected with the virus in November 2019. However, the first reported case is not necessarily the source of an epidemic. Advances in virus tracing in many countries is actually complicating the identification process. A paper titled SARS-CoV-2 was already spreading in France in late December 2019, published in the International Journal of Antimicrobials Agents, revealed that a nucleic acid test had returned a positive result for a severely ill patient hospitalized with influenza-like symptoms in December 2019. There was no link between the patient and China, and the absence of a foreign travel history suggested that coronavirus was already taking hold in France in December. A study by Giuseppe Ramuzzi, director of the Department of Immunology at Bergamo Hospital in Italy, found that more than 10 suspected COVID-19 cases were reported in the north of the country in late November and December of last year. According to the Florida Daily, the Palm Beach Post, on May the 5th, suspected cases of COVID-19 were reported in the U.S. state in January, two months before the first official diagnosis in the country. At a WHO press conference on August 10th, Dr. Michael Ryan, executive director of its health emergencies program, indicated that patient zero may not have come from Wuhan, and that an open mind should be kept in tracing the virus. Obviously, the first clusters of cases were certainly picked up in Wuhan, and that's where an epidemiologic investigation would always start. But that does not, and we've done this, and I've done this for over a quarter of a century now, uh, case zero is not always where your first cluster is. Case zero can be, it's usually, it's obviously before in time, but it may be in another place. So that's why you have to keep an open mind. So, numerous findings suggest that even before a patient was diagnosed in China, there had been possible cases in other countries. A local wastewater sample collected by researchers from the University of Barcelona on March the 12th, 2019, has subsequently revealed traces of COVID-19. It was almost a year later, on February the 25th, 2020, that Spain reported its first confirmed case of the disease. In South America, Brazilian researchers found traces of the novel coronavirus in the sewer system in the southern city of Florianópolis in late November. This was three months before the first COVID-19 case was officially recorded in the country on February 26th. Regarding the findings from Italy, Spain and Brazil, Tom Jefferson from Oxford University's Center for Evidence-Based Medicine believes they suggest that the novel coronavirus could have been lying dormant across the world, perhaps for several years. The earliest uh, isolate comes from Barcelona in Spain in March 2019, 12th of March. Now, this predates the first case of uh, COVID-19 in Barcelona by about 11 months, if these results are confirmed. We have other studies, uh, like for instance from Brazil and from Northern Italy, that show a uh, similar but later pattern. Uh, we also know that, for instance, in France, uh, there was a, a, a case of uh, COVID-19 in late December. Um, now, this would suggest uh, that the, uh, uh, the viral uh, spread was far larger earlier than what we thought. And uh, where it originated from, how it uh, adapted, uh, when it adapted, we don't know.